recorded the video working for WGNO in New Orleans of those rail cars being blown off the Huey P. Long Bridge. Jabari, good morning to you, and I'm so glad to know that you are safe. Hey, good morning. Yes, it, it was quite an experience. That's all I could say. <laughs> Does, folks who've not been in New Orleans are not familiar. The Huey P. Long Bridge is unlike most bridges we'll ever see. It's massive, correct? Right, right. And I'm not that familiar. Actually, that was probably my second time coming across it. Um, and I realized how dangerous it can be during storms because I wasn't. And they, they used to tell me that the bridge used to shake back and forth. And I wasn't sure when I was on there when the wind started to pick up that if it was just the wind or if it was the bridge or both. <laughs> but it was really scary. But it's this massive, massive uh, six-lane bridge. There's a railroad uh, track that goes straight through the middle of it, and it crosses the Mississippi. Hey, Jabari, when, when you were out and about, this is Gary, by the way, uh, when you were out and about, because you work, you work for a news station, am I correct? Right. Right. Were you out storm chasing or were you just out driving around? Well, well normally um, I, I was supposed to get uh, together a uh, my Hollywood South News team because I, that's, that's what I do. I, I do uh, entertainment for uh, Hollywood South News. And then they said, well, there's like really, really bad weather coming. Well, I'm you know, really, really fascinated with weather. So I said, I, I, I volunteered to go out with the GoPro cam and and go see what I can find, see if I can find some lightning in hell. I mean, because it's not my vehicle, so I can just tear it up. So, uh... <laughs> we say that all the time around yeah. here. Okay, so you come off the bridge, you pull over by Raising Canes, you, you get out of your car, and you leave your GoPro just running? Right, right. I had, excuse me, I had eventually, uh, or, or at first, parked across from Canes, and I tried to open the door. Uh, and I couldn't because the rain felt like needles, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was really tough, the wind and everything. So I decided to use the drive through No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> I parked the car on the side to, uh, actually bolt from my, uh, car straight inside. And I just left the camera running and somebody told me this morning, he was like, Hey, there was only four seconds from the time you parked <laughs> to the time you got in that that train fell. And I was like, really? Because it seemed way slower by the time i got inside uh the doors were locked and everything but uh you know by the time i got inside and told everybody you know get into the to the back room or the, the restroom the we heard this large boom and then all the lights went out and that's when they knew i wasn't kidding <laughs> so, we so all, you you actually could hear those trains falling from inside that restaurant correct i i i was Kind of sure that it was the train, but I wasn't sure. I so, was thinking so you didn't, of, you didn't know ahead. that the train had, had fallen until you not went back really. and looked at the video? I was hoping not that it didn't had fallen. I hope lightning had actually was really close to hit maybe one of the power lines in right. the back. But what actually eventually happened was, you know, um, after it had calmed down a little bit, it was still raining. I went outside to look to see if the train was up there and it looked like it or it looked like it had gone it looked, looked like the train just you know it was moving at the time so i thought it had left well as the the, the air got more clear i said wait a minute there's two more of those things in the back the uh, cargo ships mm. or those uh cargoes i'm sorry i just woke up yeah. those cargoes in the back and i said where's the rest of it uh. and so sure enough i looked down and it was completely on the ground. All of us are shocked that no one was hurt. Were you right. certain? Were you certain that people are hurt over there? Yes, we. Nobody was hurt. Um, I mean, it could have been far, far worse. Uh, you know, there that train. The way the Huey P. Long is designed, you know, you have to go underneath that train track when it you you get off of it because it doesn't uh, decline as fast as the the car road does. So uh, I had to actually go underneath it when the wind was starting to pick up. And as I was looking up, I said, those things fall, <laughs> you know, because the winds were so high. And um, but, yeah, nobody, nobody was there. Well, we, we and I mean, it could have been chemicals in there, too. You know? Oh, absolutely. Well, we're so glad you're safe. And the video is amazing. You can see it. Uh, we, we shared it on our website, 710keel.com. We want to awesome. thank you so much for, for that, and stay safe next time you're in town. Hope you'll stop by and visit us. 
For sure. You know, I will. I'm, I'm going to run back to movies now, I think. I'm not a meteorologist. What, what was I thinking? <laughs> well, Jafari Thomas, thank you so much. You we could, appreciate you it. You could be in a disaster movie. You have the experience. <laughs> Real world. <laughs> Please, next time you talk to your mom, tell her we said hello. I will. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Love you too. Take care, buddy.